Do you need to collect feedback or research your data? Well, Jotform makes it really easy to add a Likert scale to any Jotform. Let me show you how. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the landing page for the free Likert Scale Creator. Now, if you're unsure of what a Likert Scale is, in a really quick breakdown, it's basically, how would you rate this on a scale of one to 10? Now, the great thing about this, and of course, I think one of the great things about Jotform is we can always start with a template. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down just a little bit, and let's take a look. We have three templates right here that we can start from, and we can see right here, how challenging and exciting is your work on a scale of one to 10. If we scroll down a little bit more, so right down here, we have right here, decide which point system to use. We can see here we have three points, four points, five points, all the way up to nine points. And then right down here, it says, while you can't really go wrong with any of these scales, the five and seven point scales are the most popular. So let's go ahead and head up to the top and let's create our own survey. And don't forget if you have any other questions, definitely let us know down below in the comments, but also come back to this landing page for even more information. Now, if you need a jumping off point to getting your scale started, you can choose to create your survey right here and it's going to take you to the template gallery to choose one to get started with. But for this example, let's go ahead and start from scratch. So I'm gonna go in the top left-hand corner. Let's click on Jotform that'll get us back to my normal dashboard. And let's do create a form. We're gonna start from scratch on the classic form. Then over on the left-hand side, we can add a form element. Maybe we can do full name. And there's a couple of different ways that we can do this type of scale. If we scroll down, we see right down here, the scale rating. So if we choose that, we get to see right now, it's going to populate one to five, best to worst. Now we can choose the properties right here and we can make this however we want it to be. So if we choose options, we get to choose what that lowest rating text looks like. So right now it's worst. So maybe the question is going to be a yes or no question. So let's say no and yes. And then we have the rating value. So we can see that one is the lowest value and five is the highest. Now, if we want, we can bring this up to nine and we can see that gives us one in the neutral which is going to be the number five and then we have four in the unfavorable or the no section and four in the yes section so that's perfect but let's go ahead and name in this question so let's say would you recommend Perfect. Now, another thing that we can do with this scale is we can utilize conditional logic. So let's say, for example, if they chose anything in those lower four or maybe five and below, then we want to get some feedback. Well, tell us, you know, why not? Like, what could we have done to do better by you? So let's go ahead and come back up here to the top and we can bring in some long text and maybe how could we service you better. All right, now let's play with the conditional logic. I'm gonna head up to settings and on the left-hand side, we'll do conditional logic and then we'll do show high field. So let's say, how would you recommend is less than, we'll say if it's less than six, right? So if it's in the middle or less, we want to show the how could we service you better. Perfect, let's do save. Now let's preview and see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and choose that five option. And there we go, it automatically populates. So let's say their service was great, they chose a seven. That question is not going to show at all, which is perfect. All right, let's go ahead and unpreview the form. Let's head back to build. So another way that you could use this type of Likert scale is with an input table. So over on the left-hand side, we're going to scroll down and again, in the survey elements, in the same section with the scale rating is an input table. So we can bring that in right here. And you can see it's very similar. So that way, instead of creating a multiple of the scale rating, you can have it in a table so it all lives together. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use the Likert scale rating for your form, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.